All right, man, listen. New video, we gotta go crazy. What I'm gonna be doing for this video is I'm gonna take three of the pieces I have right here, three of the drawings you see in front of you, and uh, I'm gonna draw monsters, playing this up on transforming them into monsters. I'm going for like the creepiest, like scariest version I can draw of them. Plain and simple, that's what we're gonna do. Also, thank you to Arteza. They sent me a 36 pack of the alcohol markers, the gray tone pack. As with the other Arteza videos, there's affiliate links in the description and I earn a small commission from products purchased through the links. But anyway, this right here, this is obviously the first piece we're gonna get started with. You know, this is an older drawing too. I did this like two years ago. I seen it in my folder and I, I said, he, we need to give him a monster makeover. So that's what we're gonna be doing. As you can see, this this is how the sketch came out. Don't get too scared. Man, listen, don't get too scared. But I had I had to put on like the Jabberwocky type mask on him. I don't know. I think it's like always scarier. But you just can't see like the guy's face. You can't see his face at all. Also, like you know, this time around, I had to I had to make him a little bit more stronger. You know, he's a little bit more stronger this time around. The weights he's been lifting. You know, they got they got a little bit heavier. No, this this time around too i wanted to make him look like he had some like type of experiments done on him so i threw in like these little metal rods like sticking through his skin and stuff like that yeah we had to and listen like, like i've been saying i'm going for a monster i'm going for a monster so like i had to make him more intimidating i put a lot of scars veins popping out like open wounds on him and stuff like that listen he got he got like a whole bone sticking out a whole bone sticking out of his arm you know he got like two bones popping out of his arm you know taking in the fresh air and everything i had to, I had to make him look crazy now as you can see here i had to finish up the inking real quick you know, I finished that up. Now we gotta we gotta get started on the markers. We gotta move on to the new markers. Like I said, we got the pack of the gray tone, the 36 pack of the alcohol markers, the gray tones. Listen, this came perfectly. You know, this went perfectly with me because like, like you know, I was going for like the scary dark horror theme. So I, mean, I didn't want to add any bright colors. Didn't want to have like yellow, red stuff like that. So like the the gray went along perfect with like the gloomy type of theme I was going for. Now, these are the double-sided markers, double-sided alcohol markers. You can see I'm using a fine point here, just to squeeze in the little spaces. I use the chisel side to handle like the big areas, color in the big spaces and stuff like that. Listen, they, like I said, they are the alcohol markers, so they blend and everything, but I didn't, I didn't do too much blending for this particular piece. I kind of just laid the colors on top of each other. That's just like the type of style I was going for for this piece. I thought, I thought it would look kind of better on him, so that's what we went for. Before I move on, make sure you guys check out some of the other videos in the Summer 20 playlist. I, I tried to drop some heat in there, so leave a comment, like the videos, let me know what you think of them and everything. Listen, I, I got some more videos dropping too in this playlist. I got some more. Now listen, take a good look. This is the second piece we're transforming. We gotta, we gotta turn him into the monster. This is the wave dude. I drew this like, probably like a couple months ago or so, but we, we gotta transform him. As you can see, he, he's a full-on monster now he went crazy but listen when it came to adding like the monster qualities on him i think that's what i meant to say but yeah i try i kind of just like freestyle like whatever i thought the first thing that came to my head when i thought of monsters that's what i added on him that's why i just put a whole bunch of like random claws you know i stretched out some features put like the whole scars on him made him have the like giant teeth things everything like that i, I just one was on the top of my head you know i was i was a little bit more excited to start in this one than the other ones not just because i know this is the second one i'm doing in the video but this was actually the first one i drew when i started this challenge but i was more excited because it was more recent drawing I don't know if 
I mentioned this before, but the, these markers do have names. Like all the markers have different names, unique names. I think I mainly use, I think it was Dolphin Gray that I used for this dude. You know, I mainly use that to color him in and everything. I'm pretty sure it was. But yeah, I stuck to like maybe like 10 or so different colors for him. You know, it was a nice, it was a nice little um, color palette that I was using. I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. It worked well for him. also came with like some li little blues like glazier blue like really dim blues that I, that I was happy for because the original version of him had like a blue jacket on the jean jacket so this worked perfectly last but not least we had to hit the hair though we had to do the hair and most of y'all know if you watch this channel a lot i mainly use like grays to do hair i don't like really use black because i like to do the blending and everything so i had to give him monster waves i had to give him the monster waves now as you can see we're on the third piece the last piece this is a really old drawing i did this like 2017 maybe 2018 but I, I always used to draw my characters holding up the money <laughs> you know if, you, if you've been on this channel for a while you might know you might remember that but we gotta sketch something out for him we, we gotta do it right though we gotta make him look like and this dude like out of all the other ones the other two like he's not really that much of a monster you know he's not really that scary not like look like he's about to kill you or anything he doesn't have too many monster qualities either like now nah, I, I was just like really subtle with him now nah, i was just like really subtle with him what i mainly was focusing on was like the clouds you know the previous one the original had like the dude standing in the thing of clouds with the money up so i wanted like the cloud like he was arriving out of the clouds like he was popping up through it and he just happened to have the money you know you just happen to have the money in the hand so that's what we were going for but he wasn't he wasn't too much of a monster really I should have honestly did now that I look back at it I probably should have did like a fight scene you know like a fight scene between two of them or something like that I felt like or somebody like popping up out of nowhere like scaring somebody I, I probably should have did something like that now I felt like that would have went well with this theme I felt like next time next time I have to do that I'm gonna have to write that down Now, honestly i was thinking about it i should buy another sketchbook and just draw like darker versions of my like original characters and stuff in it like have like a sketchbook that's just feel like darker like probably using like all gray markers stuff like that i felt i felt like i've been thinking about that for a while but maybe maybe i'll have to try it out anyway you can see the inking right here we about to go crazy with the color hold on came out thank you guys for watching this video thank you to our tessa for the markers please please subscribe if you haven't already and like i said check out some of the other summer 20 videos hope you guys like this video and listen i'm out i'm out